Uh, so we are doing question 5 for our 2020 biology GCE paper and question 5 reads red green color blindness is a sex linked characteristic okay 5a1 says define sex linked characteristic so these are simply characteristics seen as a result of genes carried on sex chromosomes okay these these are characteristics characteristics seen as a result of genes carried on sex chromosomes okay and then question 5a2 says what can cause sex linked genetic disorders like the red green color blindness so the reasons that we uh, can cause this um, is when a recessive gene carried on the x um, on the x chromosome uh, has caused like a mutation how can I put this so we have the XX chromosomes and the XY chromosomes but then XX chromosomes can be carriers females can be carriers unlike men okay so when you have uh, a female who has carried um, a disease they might actually not have the disease themselves they are just carriers to it so when that happens that's when um, a sex linked genetic disorder like the red green blindness is caused also when there's a mutation in the gene like there's just um, how genes are not placed in order okay so we have mentioned two things here so it, you can say caused by recessive uh, gene carried uh, carried on the X chromosome on the X chromosome or you can simply say this is another point or you can simply say when there is a mutation mutation in genes okay and then question 5b says a normal couple had a colorblind son using the genes for normal color vision and genes of a colorblind blindness sorry my my paper is a little bit blurry so i can't really read everything properly write down the genotypes of b1 the father and b2 the mother okay so for the father it's going to be x small letter r and y and then for the mother it's going to be x r on top and then another x and small letter r on top so this simply means that the mother is a carrier okay and the father is normal so if there was a small r on top here it would mean the father um, has the disorder or is suffering from a, that particular mentioned disease okay and then we have question c which says using a genetic diagram show how the son could have been born color blind okay so i'm going to give you an opportunity for you to try out the question and uh, compare just see how far you've gone with your studies so you can pause the video and try to do it on your own and then you can just play it when you're done okay so let me just do this to get more to do it with you okay so 
when you are writing down the uh, diagram the genetic diagram we have five steps to follow I don't know if I have enough a space to write all the five steps here but you can just write them down and be attentive and follow through so the first step is uh, writing the parental phenotype the second step being uh, writing the parental genotype the third step is writing the gametes and then you do the crossing and then fourth step is finding the F1 geno uh, genotype and then fifth step is F1 phenotype. It's not always that it's going to be F1. It can be uh, a fifth generation, second generation or whatever, but in a situation where they're having their first kids and it's not going to the uh, another generation, that's the F1 genotype or phenotype. Okay guys, so that being said, let us write what I just said. So we're going to write uh, here. It's going to be for the mother, for the mother and for the father here. Okay. And then the first step we said was parental phenotype. So we're going to say parental phenotype. The parental phenotype are uh, being normal and normal. So both the mother and the father are normal. I'm trying to put this on center because I just wrote, or maybe I can correct this. I feel like the mother is too far. Let me just write it again here. Mother. Okay. And then from parental phenotype, we're going to go on parental genotype, which is parental genotype. Uh, parental genotype being, so you are going to put these then in the X. It's going to be XR and XR, meaning she is a carrier. And the father is a normal man okay and then from here we're going to go to gametes the gametes you're just pretty much going to separate all the four so sometimes you even put them in circles right so it's going to be x r and then x more r X R for the father and Y at the end. Let me just try to do this. I hope I don't mess everything up. Mm, yeah. Uh, so from here, we begin the uh, crossing. So you move from the mother to the father. So this one we'll go to the first one here and you also repeat the same thing sorry that was a little crooked to the second one like this and this one as well here and then the other one at the end okay so here it's going to be when when you're, you're going to get let me try to use another color you're going to get this where it meets it's from x r here and x r here so it's going to be x r x r okay and then he, this one is going to be from x r here and y at the end so it's going to be x capital r and y and then we're going to get the middle one now so we're going to get this one and this one which is going to be x with small letter r and x with capital r okay i advise that we swap these two so it's going to be x with capital r and x with small letter r 
usually you start with the capital letters if you start with a smaller letter it's okay but it's just advisable that way and then for the last part we start with uh, the x small r on top with the y okay i don't really have enough space down so pardon me as i compromise and we go back to our original color so we are going to label this part as f1 genotype this is our f1 genotype okay and then our other part the bottom part or the fifth part that i mentioned is our f1 phenotype because this is first generation phenotype is so when we look at the big arrows it means this is a normal female why do we say it's female because it's xx so we say normal normal female and then for this one don't mind what i'm writing so far because it's going to squeeze up the other side so just took note that now i'm talking about these ones and it's also normal this is normal male why do we say so because it's xy and xy is for male and then we have this this means ah uh, infected it's not normal for that one so this is for infected infected female okay now let me emphasize on something actually here so xr i think i've mentioned it already before though x um capital letter r and small letter r in females it's either you are infected or you are just a carrier so for some people they might actually have those symptoms of um the the infection like in this situation where we have red green color blindness so for some people in the same situation where there is capital r and small r they might have no side effects of those meaning they are just carriers okay and then so whether you write normal or infected it's completely fine it's really fine um and then the last part this is male and because the small letter r on top automatically is an infected male infected male so this is how you do a genetic diagram and i advise that if you have any question you can just write it in the comment section i'll be finding time to reply to each one of your questions and just continue watching transcended videos continue subscribing and liking the videos thank you very much